Hello, I'm back again. Uh, we're behind the scenes on the Bird in the Warehouse. And uh, I'm in a room that was graciously donated uh, that I can use, which is wonderful. Um, I picked up a few things at some yard sales I'm going to be using, a uh, crib, and and the room we already had some boxes in it, so that was great. It's kind of being used for stores, so I just kind of moved everything around and made it my own. <laughs> we'll put everything back the way I found it, I promise. Um so yeah, Bird in the Warehouse, I'm going to shoot a scene in here. Um, the scene where I introduce uh, the supporting character to the audience. And uh, my supporting character doesn't like my lead guy. He, uh, They have a tortured past maybe between the two of them. So uh, it's kind of personal and they don't like each other, but they work towards a common goal. Movie stuff, right? So. It's, it's going to be good. So I think it's a really good movie. I, I uh, saw the opening in my head. It just started coming to me, and and I started writing it down, and then the ending came to me just as I wrote those down, and it's just a matter of putting it together. You know, so i got to introduce the end to the, to the middle. to the i got to introduce the beginning to the end. So if I could put my mouth together and say words correctly. Um... It's going to be a dark and violent little film, but it's going to be Hitchcockian. It's not, I'm not going to be having, you know, for one thing, I don't know how to do the special effects. Couldn't afford them even if I did, probably. So I'm working with what I got. So we're going to make it kind of Hitchcockian, for lack of a better word. Just, you know, I want to make it, I'm trying to make an old-fashioned uh, noir uh, private eye thing. I grew up watching... Philip Marlowe's and, you know, and uh, what Jack Nicholson when he played in that uh, Chinatown, I think is what it's called, uh, where he was a PI in that one. And just I just love those old, you know, so. I thought it was something I could write with few characters. I have, uh, I'm writing uh, a horror movie right now. Uh, it's going to be a short. It's going to be about 10 or 15 minutes. I'm going to shoot it in Nevada. Probably probably this coming winter. Is this 2022? So it'll be 2023. And it won't take long to shoot that. I'll have it pl written, planned out. This I've been writing and planning while I've been waiting. I've been writing and planning as I'm looking for help. Now, it's just in a movie that's in... That's on Tubi and it's on Amazon. I don't want to give the name of it away right now. Uh, for one thing, I don't have enough people watching my channel to even worry about it. Not, it's not going to drive views, I don't think. And I, I don't want to embarrass them. <laughs> I think they'll be really supportive of me when I get this done. You know, they're like, what's that? Why is that guy telling about our movie? It's so good. But uh, I wanted to get a little bit of experience acting. I thought it would help with the writing, and I think it has. It really, really was nice to see a, a great director working with the crew. Um, it was wonderful, man. This, um, I'm hoping to be in the next one, too. So, you know, I'm doing this in the meantime. You know, when you're in a movie, it's a lot of waiting for your turn. And then you say, well, I'll get a script. Hopefully, eventually, I'll get a script or my, my piece of it and uh, learn my lines and, and put it out there and... Uh, I'm taking. I'm tentatively taking acting classes starting this coming week. I think that might. Well, I know it would help if, if <laughs> it can't hurt if you if you watch me act. You'll go, oh, yeah. He needs acting lessons. I need camera working lessons. So I need I need somebody to volunteer to teach me how to make movies so I can put these ideas out. But I'll figure it out eventually. So don't worry about it. Um, this is going to be a thriller. I keep. I know I'm off track. I'm wandering, and I'm kind of. Uh, Really, just kind of waiting for a little more light. Because even though I'm just rehearsing, I'm not even in costume. I'm going to rehearse a scene, but I want the lighting to be right. I want to see what it looks like. You know, I've got a a new fill light that I want to try, and I just don't know if it's really any good or not. So we'll try that. And uh, yep. So this is my room. This is going to be. Uh, this room will be. prominently displayed in the movie it's going to be <laughs> I like this is a good movie guys um, so I need two more actors if I 
if I have to be in it, I need two more actors. If I can find three, I'd love to just direct. I say my the scenes I've been working on now. I'm just I'm practicing, working on dialogue, tidying up the story. You know, I'm not worried about making it longer because I want to make a feature. So right now we're sitting at about an hour, I think, 50 minutes, maybe an hour. So technically it would be a feature, but I'd like to make a full length one if I can. But we'll see. I don't think it's going to make it. I think we're, I think we're going to clock in about 55 minutes, maybe an hour. Um, if I could add more characters, we can expand a little bit. We could probably go eat. You know, I could easily do it longer. I could write it longer, but I, I can't. You know, I mean, I won't. So you just won't have the people. So hopefully eventually this will come out. It'll be good. Um, my only my only requirement of my actors is going to be they have to act better than me. And the good news is that's easy to do. So uh, when you if you see my movie, that's the movie I'm in. I'm not my movie on Tubi. I think I did. I think I did OK. But it was, I think I was a little dry. But I think I should have been dry. I don't know. We'll see. Um, if I, I've, I this is like my sixth tape. So I'm just going to talk about my acting lessons. Hopefully that'll help. Working on the scenes of the movie I was in really helped. Get to see that. Um, I'm making myself a little. I've, I have a. I have a. Man, do I have it on me? I don't have it here. I have a handle I made for like to get close ups of tires and things like that. And I can get close ups of feet with it, you know, and, and walk behind somebody or walk beside somebody. And I'm going to put, I'm going to extend that handle, I think, so I can put it on the shoulder using maybe like a improv steady cam. I, you know, I can't afford a steady cam. <laughs> well, I'm going to try to, to make uh, make a brace for it, and hopefully, I can keep my, keep my camera more still. I'm going to go tripod as much as possible and handheld as little as possible. But it's a thriller, so I'm going ha to have a lot of handheld. So now I'm practicing. So when I, when I finally get my actors together and I start putting these scenes together, choreographing a couple of fight scenes and a couple of uh, different scenes. The nails that you know, I'll have it all practiced up. And I think it's going to be a good movie. And I want to film. I want to put it in some a uh, couple of film festivals. I think I think it'll be that good. And uh, I'm not just crazy. Really, I'm not. It'll be great. Bird in the Warehouse. It's a Mason Stone thriller. Break a leg, and hopefully I'll be back very soon with another behind the scenes. Have a great day.